What's up guys and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. In this video, we will continue with the advanced control flow and we will learn on something interested called when expression. You can also control flow via the when expression. It executes different code depending on the value of the variable or the constant. Here's a when expression that acts on an integer. Val number equal to 10. Okay. We use when, so you can make this when and we specify here the number. I am uh, making an execution on when, on an integer or number. So when it is zero, make this print ln it is zero. When other make this print ln non zero. Okay, it's very simple. Let's run and see. And here we go, we have non zero. So it works. So when we use when keyword, we are checking for the state of the past thing variable or uh, uh, and, and a variable or constant. So think about it like as a switch. When we have this number, when we have zero, make this. Otherwise, when we have anything rather any, anything rather than zero, go and print none zero. Okay? So, the purpose of when expression is de to determine whether or not a number is zero in this case. But it is not as simple as this. I promise you to get more complex. Yes, to handle a specific case, you add the value followed by dash and this, this diamond shape, this uh, flash. Okay, and making this arrow. So it is like an arrow. So this arrow followed by in which indicates the code that will be executed if the condition is met. So if I change the number is zero and I try to run it, it will give me the code needed. And uh, besides this arrow, it is zero. So when the condition zero is met and is satisfied, it will execute this line of code, okay? And this is what happened now. Then you see uh, how the else configuration can be used here also. So if and else are the, are the conditional statement and you can use them with using else with when okay unlike other languages like, such as java there is no need to indicate a break statement in each branch as the when expression will only use the first matching branch and then return in java we use the switch and in all cases we need to put a break statement unlike uh, it Kotlin use this smart and very fast thing that we can make by specifying only the condition and this arrow and what we are going to execute when the condition is met. Okay, so it's very simple. It's very uh, logical. It is... Uh, it is uh, like a switch that uh, uh, that I said to you. If you have any uh, prior example uh, experience with Java or other languages, okay. Now let me 
uh, make it some compl some uh, adding some complexity to it. So I will change the val number to uh, name. Okay, and I will name it as uh, master. Okay, so or Udemy. I am checking for the case of the name. If it is equal to Udemy for multiple choices, for multiple uh, like um, possibilities, we can add them by separating the choices or the condition by the this apostrophe. Okay, uh, like uh, YouTube or not YouTube, like uh, Coursera, like um, Linda, like uh, Plural Science. and other print learning systems. Otherwise, if they are not included, the not learning systems. Okay, let me check. If we run and I have passed the name as Udemy, and it, the result would be the learning system. If I pass Coursera, it will give me the same thing because it is of the first matching states. So if you have multiple states, multiple choices of the same result, I'm going to print all of these choices, printing only learning systems so I can use the apostrophe here separate the multiple um, uh, choices uh, the multiple cases by the apostrophe okay so in this case we have learned the the when expression and we see it is an advanced thing and it is uh, controlling the flow of the program